Hello fellow Blender users, and welcome to my Arcane Shader tutorial. Before we get started, it's important to know that this shader shines brightest when you're using cycles. However, it does work with Eevee just fine. The only difference is that you need to take into account for any emission shaders, as Eevee doesn't take them into account. Here's the node setup for the shader. Before we get started, if you want to follow along with this exact model, you can download it from the link in the description. The texture that comes with this model is the same one that we will use. Now I will show you how to create the textures, which, by the way, are created completely procedurally. However, you will need to download a software called PhotoSketcher, and there's a link in the description for you to download it. If you already know a different way to create painterly style textures, you can use whatever method works best for you. Now that you have PhotoSketcher open, it's time to start texturing. To import your texture, right click on the image on the right and select Open a Picture. Now you can look for the texture that you want to use. If you're using the texture that will be used on the Ray model, it will be located in the zip file. Now that we have a texture open, we can start texturing. From the drop down menu, select Painting 10 Brush Strokes. Adjust the sliders until they look similar to mine, or adjust them to your liking. Next, click Draw. This texture is pretty high resolution, so this process will take a few minutes. When the drawing process is done, you can right click on the image on the right and save it, preferably in the same file as the original texture. Back in Blender, it's time to start shading. First, bring your finished texture into Blender by dragging it into the workspace. Remove the principal BSDF and search for a Tune BSDF. Now, Get a mix RGB node and turn the factor all the way to 1. Select the multiply option from the dropdown. Plug your finished texture into the color 2 slot. Add a color ramp and plug it into the color 1 slot. Now get a Fresnel node. Set it to 0.95 and plug it into the color ramp. It's important to know what color each slider is, as the brightness of the color will determine how bright the texture is. The left slider I set to a darker gray, and the slider on the right I set to a very desaturated yellow. The shader should be complete. Now it's time for you to find out what different values work for you best. Adjusting the colors and deciding whether the BSDF should be diffuse or glossy is very important to communicate to the audience what type of material the object is. In Arcane, a lot of reflective and metallic objects usually have different values than refractive and rough objects. Let's use the lightsaber as an example. But before we do, make sure you use a decimate modifier on the whole model since it's pretty high poly, and use a subsurf modifier as needed. Create a separate material for the lightsaber by selecting it in edit mode, pressing the plus icon, and selecting the same material we just created. Now, duplicate it and press assign. Now, go into the shading workspace and change the type to glossy in the Tune BSDF. Change the size and the smoothness, and now we can clearly tell that this material is metallic and Ray's skin or clothes are not. You can do the same method for other parts of the model, like her hair or clothes. It was really important to me that I understood how this shader worked, and I'm glad I got one that both myself and a lot of other people liked. I can't wait to see what creations you guys make with this shader. I am also willing to give out tech support, so please ask me if there's a problem with your shader. Thanks you guys for watching. See you later.